Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So October is pretty much done. Today is the 31st. So yeah, it um, it's time for a flip through. So still very much loving my motor moat term in the color taupe. Um, I have my leopard ollie clip here, and I still have my decorations, obviously, because it is the 31st. So I have this that I got from my son's pajamas. It was a tag. I kind of just cut off the hole on top, and I just love that. Um, this is a sticker that I got from the Style Planner. This, um, like, scarecrow thing is from Primrose Corner. This was a freebie, um, I think like a year or two ago from the Style Planner. And then I just have this kind of gold um, journaling card in here. I did print out a photo from Pinterest and that's what I printed on vellum. And I just kind of have that here. And yeah, so this is what October's monthly look like. A couple things removed and you know, all this fun stuff. And then I had my tasks to get done. And yeah, it was a pretty good, pretty good month. Not too bad. Um, so let me get to the beginning of October. So October 1st and 2nd, we're in September's monthly. So here's the first and then the second. And then my whole October setup starts after that. So this was a freebie from Sterling Inc's Facebook group. And the script letter here is from Planner Monkey Co. As well as the stickers that you'll see on my week. They're from the same kind of journaling kit. So this was week 40. The post-its are double printed. So the first part is from Sterling Inc.'s Facebook group. But it was last year October's. Um, so 2021. Um, the October freebie. I did the the post-its from there because I kind of got confused and then I didn't realize no it was already printed and then the weekly tracker part is from Peanuts Planner Co so it's just double printed um I do the weekly tracker one first and then I print the sterling ink one so it's week 40 week 41 42 and 43 and then I start my the rest of my October dailies so this was a freebie from Sierra at SM Plans. Um, I do have days to tick off here. And then it goes into all of my dailies. So I'm just gonna kind of move along. Um, I did a little bit of journaling every couple of days. Didn't do that much. Um, I do, it's one of my goals for New Year to do more journaling. So kind of trying to add that in every so often. I have a couple pieces that are just like taped in and then a couple of notes that are in between. Most of these get added into my index in the front because if I need to find them, I just don't want to have a bunch of um, tabs because then I'm still not going to know where everything is. Still going to have to flip through everything. So here we keep going. And this is the first day we had cool weather and then it quickly disappeared. <laughs> So just a lot of things that are added in. Again, more notes kind of scattered in between. And then this was the last week that I had in here. So as you can see, I still have a couple things that weren't uh, ticked off. I did actually get those things done. I just didn't take them off yet. Um, and then the 31st was, well, is right over here in my November setup, which is here. Yeah, it's just a real quick flip through. Um, again, I haven't fully filled out the past few days for my October calendar here, um, but this is my fitness kind of health tracker. So the green means all rings closed and the beige kind of means that I hit my step count. I did close the two rings here and I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I hit the step count yesterday. Um, and then obviously today's not done. So I don't have an accurate representation for today yet. But yeah, I'm real proud of myself compared to September. So I was really striving to, to really get that done. But yeah, that's pretty much how my October went. I was very happy with the setup that I have in here and just the way that I'm setting it up. And I'm excited to continue the year and start off January, most likely in an A6. 
I am still kind of weirdly toying with the idea of having an A5, but I just feel like there would be way too many or way too much white space. And I don't know how I feel about that because this is enough white space for me, but I feel like if this was on an A5 page, it'd be a lot. So probably gonna stick with A6 and then just leave A5 for journaling and we'll just go from there. But yeah, so again, if you guys have any questions, just jot them down below. Don't forget to come follow me on Instagram at SimpleMamaCon. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.